Hey everybody, it's Mark again, and I want to talk about turning the hands backwards on a, a cuckoo clock again. If you cannot turn the hands of your clock, it's because the rack and snail have came the snail has came forward and the rack has came behind the snail and so everything is jammed up and so this happens when you turn the hands backwards on the wrong time frame I could turn the hands backwards as long as it's not in warning once it goes into warning and you turn your hands backwards, then the clock will possibly bend the uh, tab on the rack or bend the lift lock lever or the rack stop lever. The second thing that causes the rack to fall behind the snail is the tab is not bent enough to catch the snail as the clock as the rack drops to allow it to cuckoo if this tab here If this tab here is not bent right, it will fall behind the snail and because the clock is still ticking, things will jam up and you won't be able to turn your hands frontwards. There's going to be people out there that tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. But my friend had an issue with one of his clocks. He could turn the hands backwards, but he couldn't turn the hands clockwise. And I told him to take the dial off and he's going to find out that the rack has dropped behind the snail. And so I'm going to bend this to make the rack drop behind the snail. So now the rack is dropped behind the snail. And if I bend it more, I want to show you what happens. Well, in this case, it, it's uh, bringing up the uh, rack. The gathering pallet is bringing up the rack. But a lot of times, when the rack falls behind the snail, there's too much pressure on the rack. And so... The gathering pallet can't bring up the rack. Another case is when you put, if you worked on your clock and you're putting the clock back in, if you're putting the movement back in the case, a lot of times the snail will come forward on you.
And so when you um, when you put the movement into the case, make sure that you push the snail backwards to see the square notch here that the um, that the minute hand fits on the minute hand with the uh, with the uh, adjusting wheel the adjusting wheel is what fits onto that square section there unless it's a Herbert Herr and then Herbert Herr uses square hole minute hands so anyway if you cannot get your if you're working on a clock or your friends ask you to check out their clock and if you cannot uh, turn the minute hand first of all loosen up the nut because if the nut is too tight on some clocks it um, it will put too much pressure on that arbor and it will be hard to turn the mini hand for example this Herbert Herr clock I'm still debating on whether or not to leave this washer there the washer will protect the nut um, from damaging the hands but if I was to tighten up this nut, too tight, I can't easily turn the hands. And if it's too tight, this thing will sit here and tick away all day long and the hands will not turn because the nut is too tight putting too much pressure on the system because the system is made differently from the Herbert Herz. It has the minute wheel with minute pinion that is connected to the great wheel and then it has that uh, suspension uh, washer compression washer that goes on top and then the mint, um, wheel and then a little bitty washer and then a pen but because that this clock is made differently if you tighten the hand the nut too tight you're you can't easily turn the minute hand and because you can't easily turn the minute hand then the um, the the uh, uh, clock won't be able to easily turn the minute hand anyway I hope this video helps I hope I didn't confuse you I mean God bless some clocks were designed to where you can safely turn the minute hand backwards. If I want to get this thing to catch up with itself, I can sit here and turn the minute hand backwards to the uh, nine o'clock and then back up to the 12 o'clock. But like I said, some some clocks are designed to do that, but you never tell your customers to do that. If their clock is off, that's what these doors are for. You push the lever inside. And you catch it up that way. Same way with over here.
you push the lever inside. And you catch it up that way. Anyway, I hope this video helps. God bless. I just want to mention a few YouTube accounts. First of all, Michael Anderson, or just Mike, as known by his YouTube uh, channel. Uh, Mike does a really good job at posting videos on clock repairs. And some of the things that he does are cuckoo clocks, but he's not afraid to tackle other clocks. Here he working on an antique Oswari clock made in Japan. Here he's working on a Keebler clock. Here's a Master Dave Crafter's clock. Master Crafter's clock. Um, battery operated and electronic clocks Mike is pretty good at and so uh, I'm gonna leave links to all these channels in the description of, of this video and how do you find the description well let's click on this and then I'm gonna pause it what are you doing today? and then right underneath the video is where you find the description just right underneath the video you look at the description and I will leave links to all these channels and I would like for y'all to subscribe to everybody's channel that I'm mentioning because they're well worth it they do a great job in explaining or teaching their subject the second YouTube channel I like to mention is Scotty's clock world or Scott Johnson and Scott does a really good job of repairing several clocks he works on clocks for a living and he um, not only works on wind-up clocks but he also gets involved in Here's a digital dial alarm clock. He also has uh, videos on watches and how to change a battery, setting the date. And he's also started a clock repair for total beginners. Very interesting. And but he does a lot of. Uh, clocks that are challenging that I don't like doing but I can do but he does American clocks uh, here's a New Haven clock that he's doing and he like I said he does a really good job at explaining step-by-step -step detail of what he's doing Here we have Torsion Dell's YouTube channel, or Derek. If you have anniversary clocks, or Torsion clocks is what they were originally known by. Uh, Derek does a terrific job. He's my expert in, in my group, and... Uh, he does a really good job at explaining how to put a torsion clock in beat, how to change out the suspension assembly. He even does videos on uh, making parts. And if you know anything about these clocks, they are very uh, tedious. They're a lot of people don't like messing with them because of the suspension spring. But Derek does a great job at teaching you what to do to get a clock in beat and to change out the suspension spring with the Charles Twilliger 400-day clock repair guide. 
Here are clocks with Seth. Now, Seth Lingenfelter is the original designer of clock t-shirts, specific clock t-shirts, but Seth also puts out some excellent professional videos on history of clocks. Uh, some of the clocks are his own clocks. Some of the clocks he borrows from his father, uh, uh, Steve Lingfelter, who collects grandfather tubular uh, clocks, um, is his um, pride and joy, but he also collects other clocks. But Seth does a great video on showing the history of clocks. These are some of uh, Seth's videos. How to set your moon dial. And he talks about the history. Again, Seth goes into detail on history of clocks. But the, the video I want you to uh, uh, see and pay particular attention to is this video right here, which is clock shirts. And we're going to click on that, and I'm going to... I'm going to um, fast forward it to the shirt that I want you to see that there's some guy, and he keeps changing his name and sometimes his location, but he claims that his autistic child designed this shirt. He's stealing Seth's designs. He's a thief and a liar, and I hate thieves and liars. So if you want a original clock shirt, order it from Seth. I have several of them, and I'm fixing to order a few more. And I'm going to show you some t-shirts I put together later. First, I want to share some thoughts about clock shirts. Uh, number one, unless you're at a clock meeting, uh, how are you going to know if somebody else... Let's take a look here. Here's some of his designs. First one is called Little Clockmaker, and it's available in baby, toddler, uh, kid sizes, a few different um, clothing types. The next one is Future Horologist. Yes, start them early. Get them into clocks early. That's what we want to do. And then this third one is I Love Grandpa's Clocks. And then here's some of my adult designs. Uh, this one is I'm Not Crazy, but I Might Be a Little Bit Cuckoo. And this next one is called Clock. Did you see that other shirt? Let me go back to it. This is a shirt that some jerk who's a liar and a thief keeps claiming that his son or his autistic child or boo -hoo 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 has created this shirt. He's a liar and he's a thief. He's still in Seth's designs and unlike my groups that I'm the admin for and a lot of the groups are going to this where there's no automatic uh, approval anymore because there are scammers and thieves who are trying to sell stuff that is not theirs. They ask for permission, they join the group, and then immediately they're, for example, trying to sell Seth Linkfelter's t-shirt designs saying their autistic child designed this shirt and they're trying to raise money for their autistic child lies 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 order the shirt from seth you can at the end of this video he tells you how to do it through redbubble now i want to talk about two uh youtube channels this first one um, was put out by uh, Matthew Reed uh, during the uh, COVID when it first came out, and it was a live stream video. I take that back. This one, the Open Clock Club, are, was the live stream video. How to repair pendulum clocks. This one is... Matthew Reed's uh, videos and if you want to see some amazing stuff 
um, he does some stuff that is unbelievable. Um, I enjoy watching his videos. And there's a book that you could purchase that has got to do with his videos, uh, with the uh, uh, how to repair pendulum clocks. But watching the videos, you know, every bit of this stuff that I'm showing you, it doesn't cost you anything. It's free to subscribe. And what is better than free? You know, you subscribe to the people's channels. And then once you're a subscriber to the channel, use the search button. It helps you out. And um, you can find stuff right away. If I was to type the word file in here, it's going to show you. I'm sorry, I got to use this search button. This search button up here is entire YouTube. This search button right here is just strictly for his channel. If I was to type the word file in here, it's going to bring up every video that has to do with files. And here he is. If it's got the word file in it, it's bringing up those videos and that's why you want to subscribe to people's stuff because computer technology you know if you go to my channel i have a crap load of videos on there and if you're not a subscriber of my youtube channel you might not find the video that you're looking for but if you hit the search button you you find it faster um, I've got a ton of videos on cuckoo clocks if you have a question I probably have a video on cuckoo clock and if I don't send me a message I'll make a video on that cuckoo clock if I have that cuckoo clock available to me There are some people that are worth mentioning. Um, Frank Snyder, this is his channel. And Frank Snyder repairs trumpeter clocks. And this is um, a cuckoo clock or collector of clock dream to own a trumpeter clock. So uh, you might want to check out his channel. And again, please subscribe to all these channels. Because they're putting this stuff out there, because it's free, you know, I get people that are complaining all the time. You just want subscribers so you can make money. Well, you know what? I do not charge. I have not charged anybody one dime to post these videos. So, yes, why not? Why can't I get something in return? You know, I have people tell me all the time, you should make DVDs and sell them. Well, let's say you you hire somebody to have 200 DVDs professionally made, and you are able to sell 150 of them. Well, that's 150 profit, but that is it. Let's say you'll never sell another DVD as long as you live. With YouTube, because they're a billionaire company, they're going to pay me fees once I meet their standards. And so why should I take the money out of a hardworking person such as yourself when YouTube will pay me a monthly check once I meet their requirements? So, yes, I do want enough subscribers. Uh, to pay off my hard work of making these videos. And so doesn't everybody on YouTube who makes videos. And if they tell you, no, they're not in it for the money, they're lying. Uh, they are posting the videos because they want the subscribers. 
So yes, I am in it for the money in the long run. But I have not charged anybody who is watching my videos one dime. So why not subscribe to my channel? It is free to do so. All you got to do is to sign in to YouTube and hit the subscribe button. As you can see, I have several people that I have subscribed to because I enjoyed one or two of their videos. Uh, most of my videos are, are comedy videos because that is what I do to relax. I sit here and watch comedy or I watch clock repair videos or fishing videos or some other videos that I find interesting. And I have not paid YouTube one penny to subscribe to all these accounts that I have listed over here on this section and there's more I i'm subscribed to like i don't know 190 50 i don't know several next i would like to talk about jody davis's youtube channel uh, uh, she is a artist She's very talented, and she sells her clocks. Some people say, well, her clocks are kind of expensive. If you talk to Jody personally, like I have, she guarantees her clocks. She is right here in the United States. She guarantees her clocks for a two-year period and beyond that. But you have to talk to Jody Davis personally, as I have. And her, her clocks, the price is comparable to brand new cuckoo clocks with all the bells and whistles that are sold in Germany. And she designs and creates them herself. Being a patriot, this is one of my favorite clocks because... I'm retired Air Force, but I have other um, favorite clocks of hers. Have I purchased any hair clocks? No. But I'm on a limited income. Um, it might be possible that later when I get enough subscribers that I will be able to purchase uh, one of her clocks. I really like this clock right here. It's the American uh, Barn Cuckoo Clock. Uh, getting back to have I purchased any of her clocks? I have never but one time in my entire life bought a brand new clock. And that was before I started collecting clocks. It was for a anniversary back when I was married. I was in Kapon, Germany, going to the NCO non-commissioned officer, NCO Academy, and I bought a brand new one-day cuckoo clock for my ex-wife, and I paid like $300 for it. Uh, but it was a one-day cuckoo clock. It was several years ago, back in 1990. 6, 97, 98 time frame, something like that. I, I don't remember. But uh, that same clock today would be $1,000 or more. Last person, last YouTube video that I want to mention is my friend, Wayne Prater. Now, there's a few Wayne Praters out there on YouTube. So you're going to have to search for Wayne Prater 6077. Wayne is a very good friend of mine. I talked him into creating a YouTube uh, channel uh, because the man is talented 
when it comes to any type of engine. For somebody who never completed high school, he can diagnose and tell you what is wrong with any type of engine. We're talking from lawnmowers to chainsaws to boats to you name it, he could fix it. And he is creating and posting YouTube videos on repairing issues on vehicles. If you need some mechanic work, he lives in the Potosi, Missouri area. You can contact him on Facebook at Wayne and Desi Prater. Uh, on Facebook and uh, he is extremely reasonable he's cheaper than any other mechanic that I know of in that area and so uh, Christian man um, I'm very blessed to have him in my life but anyway one last uh, channel I want to talk about, and it's my Today channel. We're going to be working on, and I'm going to show you how to adjust a cuckoo clock. This is <laughs> my most watched video right about. here. I have clock repair people from all over the world messaging me asking me how do they fix the music box on this style cuckoo clock where you have the uh, music box up in the roof of the cuckoo clock and I sent them this set of vi videos and I asked them if this doesn't help them out to let me know and they always come back to me telling me thank you and these are people who work on clocks for a living like I said, once you subscribe to my channel, you can search for a video that you would like to uh, see if I have. Let's say Bellows. Type in Bellows in the search button. This is my YouTube channel, so searching it this way is not going to, it's going to confuse you. Search it the way I showed you in the previous video. Once you type in Bellows, everything I have on Bellows is going to come up. But say, Music Box. Everything I have discussing a Music Box is going to come up. And let's say, Novelty Clocks. Everything I have on Novelty Clocks is going to come up. So again, this is why you subscribe to people's channels so you can find stuff. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Again, I'm going to leave to, uh, uh, links to everybody's channel that I mention in the description of the video. And remember, the description is directly underneath the video. So, uh... uh the end screen only allows me to to add four um, mention four items and so I named off more people than the four items so that's why you're gonna have to go to the description to find those other YouTube channels again I hope y'all enjoyed this video uh, may God bless each and every one of you